Hey guys, True Knight back here. So today I wanted to go over my second prediction for Rarity 2. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> as you guys can kind of see by this list, it's like a little all over the place, but this has just been my brainstorming as of the past couple of days. Um, so what I'm thinking is is that Konami's gonna go after cards maybe such as like the Dragon Rulers because they're starting to come off the list right and you have fans who will come back and play just for decks like this and so how to appeal to an old fan well you print their card in a collector rare or a uh, quarter century or something like that you know um, you get two for one you get your fan back and you get them to come and buy the most expensive version of the card so that's just kind of my thought there uh, a couple of bangers that I think could possibly show up uh, thrust maybe Fenrir this is a hardcore maybe, but maybe Diabell Star, uh, maybe Raging Phoenix, um, yeah, Copium, uh, cards that are new of the past year, I, I don't think there's any chance they're gonna get reprinted already, especially when they can come out as a super and be a 10 cent card, Konami wants to keep making their money, um, SP Little Knight falls in that same Copium kind of thing guys. Uh, something I'm kind of hopeful for that I could actually see are bringing out these two, Sky Crisis and Zeus. Um, very much like, I feel like it's generic. It can go into almost every deck. So if the goal of this kind of set is to make the game more feasible for players and stuff like that, these two would be prime candidates for that because... They could play decks that run two of these or something like that, you know, and give them a fighting chance. Uh, Dragoon falls into that category of, like, people who are fans of certain decks, things like that, and this card could pop up. Ice Barrier falls into that category. Uh, I know there is a water deck getting ready to come out at the end of the year, structure deck. So if you want to appease those folks and get them hyped now, uh, you do that here, you know. Um, things like old shout outs that I could see popping up are like Torrential and Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, you're appeasing the old fans and you're giving them higher rarities of their cards. Uh, if they don't hit it on the list at all, Kieran, Fire King Island, things like that could be on there. Uh, again, if they're trying to get the game more feasible, cards like Excel, Synchron, and Dispater would show up in a set like this. Um, my own two <laughs> uh, hopes, like if they're ever gonna help a Sword Soul guy out, <laughs> I would love quarter century rares or collector rares of these guys, even um, cool looking like super rare, cool looking, uh, I don't know, platinum secrets look kind of appeasing to me, you know, so guys like me who love the deck or and that falls into the category of like branded players, tier limit players, things like that, you could do do them a service and kind of print those kind of cards there. Um, Super Bally, I think, is a prime candidate to show up. I really do, because it's even it's like cheaper printings right now are going for like what six, seven bucks, I think. So you could definitely see this card showing up there if you uh, if they're one, you know. Um, Pink kind of falls in the same category as Fenrir. To me. I don't, I don't see why not. You know, it's back at two, hasn't done anything. I don't think that the uh, Fenrir is a candidate for the ban list at all, because it, yeah, it can it can help in games, but it's not really a game takeover anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, Revolution Synchron, that's something I could see showing up, you know, because it's just a random $20 card that's pretty cool, but if people want to try it, now it can be like more accessible at like a, a dollar card, something like that. So. Um, these are just a couple of my thoughts, guys, I, I think are potential things that we could see in Rarity 2. Again, we're going to start getting more announcements here probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll probably see another, like, 10 cards, and then in March we'll see another 10, 15 cards, and then April we'll see 10, and then we'll probably see the re remainder of it in May. So, but, um, let me know your guys' thoughts. I want to hear what community is thinking about. I think we've all kind of forgotten about it because of the tier zero deck in the room now and we're not really talking about it and 
I think it's a set to get really excited for. I've already invested into a case. I'm probably going to go and try and invest into a second case just so I can open up two. Um, I did a case of the first one and sold every single card in my case. It's crazy. Uh, it sold either on TCG Player or local or eBay. So pretty cool. Um, definitely looking to repeat that for a rarity too. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it's going to be an amazing set. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to challenge anyone who views this. Give me a quick comment of like three cards you think are going to show up. Um, you could just simply list it one, two, and three of what you think most likely, second most likely, and then a hope kind of card, you know? So let me know in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you for your support as of late. My videos are starting to come out. I've gotten a new camera. I've gotten lighting for the camera. I'm going to try and go to locals more. I've gotten new tripods. I've gotten a new computer to edit videos on. So any support really goes a long way guys so please be kind be respectful to each other and i'll see you in the next one peace